today on the Golden Pan, I have Mary Scarlotta Rowe. Hi. And Miss Ma Mrs. Mary Maraboli. <laughs> and today we're going to make what, Mary? Pizzelles. 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 cookie. Oh. Some say pizzelles. Some say pizzelles. Some say, what do you say? I say pizzelles. Good. I always say it wrong, though. Mary's like, know. you say it wrong. Don't, you don't say it needs wrong. Pizzelles. Why, are there a difference? No, but you want to say oh. it correctly. I um, want to say it in that fairy. The Italian way. So do it again. Way. Say it again. We'll all say it. Okay. Pizzell. Pizzell. I'm going. No, you're not. You're no, no, no. saying it here. We need you. We need you. Yeah, we need you. All right. So, Mary, what does our recipe call for? We have six eggs in the recipe. Yep. That are beaten thoroughly. And we, or we melt them down. And then well, we... We're not going to melt the eggs. We're going to... We're, we're going to soften, soften the butter. We're going to soften the butter. We're gonna Beat the eggs. Eggs. Beat the eggs. Beat the eggs. Yeah. And cool them off. And cool off the butter? Yeah. Yeah. Right. And then okay. we have what? The flour is how many? Some flour. And tell us about this, Mary. What is that? What is that that's here? An orange that's been grated. What's it called when you grate it? Grate an orange. Orange meal? <laughs> I think it's zest. called orange zest. Oh. So when you have a recipe that calls for orange zest, that just means that you're going to grate up your orange peel for whatever amount it asks for. How much does it say of orange That's zest? Oh, wait a minute. Joyce, for one. Uh, it's not specific. So whatever amount you want. Okay. Okay. And so we're also going to use the juice from the orange, right, Mary? I don't know. I would juice from one orange. <laughs> yeah. So you don't have to be a cook to know how to exactly, do Exactly, even though it's her recipe. I gotta get that because she can't find it. Three cups of sugar. It's down here. And one cup of sugar. One and a third cup of sugar. Well, on this side it says one cup of sugar. Oh, oh boy. Maybe because that's a pizzelle. Yes, this is a pizzelle. And that's a pizzelle. That must be there. I would miss it out. Sorry, just kidding. All right, and then how much anise do you need? Anise. Okay. Anise? She always I always anise. say it wrong. She always says it wrong. I either um, say anise, anise. 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 So the first thing we're going to do, Mary, is we're going to break the eggs into our KitchenAid mixing bowl. Yeah. Oh, good. Good. Correct? Somebody want to break the eggs for me? Rita, you want to do it? Okay. So what I do is I break them into a bowl first, and then if there's any shells, you can pick them out before you put them in the big bowl. So break them into this bowl if you can. How long have you been making these cookies, Mary? How old am I? Well, you don't have to tell us how old you are. Yeah. All my life. All your life? Yep. 39 years. Woo! Long time. Thank you. Do you. Is there a time of year that you make them more than other times? I usually make them at Easter time. Oh, okay. Oh. Is that melted? Excuse yet? me. That's not melted. Uh, well, do you want it all melted? Oh, yeah. Of the whole thing. Okay, I'll be right back. So if you get a shell in your eggs, the best way to take the shell out is with another egg. It comes out very easy. Is she smart? I learned that in my cooking classes. Good. Long time to show. I've been here. That's the young man that did our braiding our orange bowl. There's a lot of eggs in this recipe. Oh, thank you, Mary, for braiding the orange. That was just great. That's funny. Do we have all our eggs in there? One, two, three, four, six eggs. All right, thank you, Greta. And now you have to beat the eggs, no? Oh, yeah, you have to beat them. Yeah, so we're going to use the beating attachment of our KitchenAid. Okay. We're going to put the butter in here and beat it. We have to melt the butter. The butter's already been melted yes. and beat cooled it. on. Mary's back with the melted butter because it's still very warm. You don't want to add warm butter to raw eggs because it'll cook the eggs. So we're going to oh, put it in the refrigerator and just let it cool for a few minutes. Okay. Good to know. Well, that's cooling. Let's talk about your favorite cookies. Marsha, what kind of what kind of cookies did you make? Uh, chocolate chip. Chocolate chip. Mm. How about you, Barbara? 
It like, was always made about my mother. Your, your mother <laughs> did all of it. Your mom everything. did all the cookies? Yeah, everything. How about you, Stella? Yeah. Vanilla. Like vanilla cookies? How about yeah, you, Greta? Whole hmm? house. Whole house yeah. cookies. Yeah. How about you, Mary? Whole house cookies. Whole house cookies. How about you, Christine? Italian cookies. I don't know the name of it. And um, you put it on, it's like a lump in you. Oh, look at it. The frosting. Definitely. Uh, my chip, chip in there. Oh, one of those things, a little chocolate with a kiss on my top? Um, oh. How about you, Mary? What do you cover your uh, face? I make a mean gingerbread cookie. Oh, yes, Ooh, that's right. right. And, and uh, one time, not better than your mother's recipe. No, I don't know. <laughs> We're gonna have to have a gingerbread off. Oh, One yeah. time for my friend, I made gingerbread people of her family for Christmas. It took me about two days, and I cut each of them. I decorated them. Yes. So it's how it rocks. Were those your recipes? Yes, those are my cookies. We made that. We're hard as rocks. Thank you, Mary. You know, be overcooked, oh, big my right? mother. It does happen. It does. It does. I didn't say I'm a good cook. I just say make a mean. Gingerbread. Yeah, those cookies are mean, especially when you bite into them and you crack a tooth. Yeah, that's me. It's not my talent, the cooking, but you know, I try. I mean, actually, they were, they, you, did, they were you did another when one. I, we, yeah, when we made them right, they Yes, worked. they were delicious. <laughs> All right, so do you think that the butter's cool? You think yep. the butter's cool? All right, let's All right. get it. Now the butter's cool. All right, so what am I doing? Wonderful. You're going to pour it in there. Oh into the KitchenAid with the eggs. All right, just a, there we go. Oh, oh, look at that. I haven't worked it yet. Okay. And we're going to beat it. 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 What happened? Yeah. You So the next step, the sugar. Mary, according to your recipe, it says to add the Anise. 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 You're going to learn how to speak Italian. Anise. Anise. I just like to say that so you correct me. <laughs> and the zest. The orange zest. Oh, you, yeah, you put that in. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Put it in now? Yep, you can put that in. Put the zest in. And two teaspoons of anise extra. No, two? No, no, no. no. All right. No, it sounds like there. a lot. No, it's two. Reason why this because on this it says a half a teaspoon. Oh, four. One teaspoon of vanilla and a half a teaspoon. <laughs> That's a treat. Spoons of anise. Anise. This is a brand new bottle. Anise. 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 <laughs> coffee. Coffee. A coffee cola. Cola coffee. Four Ooh, I think it says a teaspoon. I have my glasses. It says four. <laughs> it says four. For six eggs. <laughs> All right. Four teaspoons. <laughs> oh, four teaspoons of baking powder? Oh, this. I would mix the baking powder with the flour. The flour. All right. That way it'll go in even. I get a mm -hmm. We might do our next month on the Golden Pan Comedy Hour. This <laughs> <laughs> is like the Three Stooges cooking. Stella promises to make us a boiled dinner. No, I'm not that. No. <laughs> she doesn't want to do it. Oh, well, Greta, you want to make the boiled dinner with us next? Yeah. All right. So Greta's making a demo. All right. So, okay. so I'm going to add. Doing, hold on. We're doing. Sorry. Four teaspoons, right? Is that what it says? Yeah. I want to get it right. Four teaspoons of baking, baking powder. Baking powder. Add that level? Right to the fire. Oh, no, it wasn't level. <laughs> there you are. Oh, oh, you know what? It's got a leveling side there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's see what you're doing. Hi, Wendy. Right. Okay. Level yeah. 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 The level size had very low. Ah, yeah. Two. Level up. What are we making? Three. Pizzelle. Good question. Pizzelle. Good feeling. Is that four? It was four, Mary. Was, all right, there we go. All right, which one of you is going to start counting when Mary starts measuring? Okay, let's all count. All right, it's time to add the sugar to the eggs and the butter. And the anise. 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 Did we put the anise in here? Yes, we did. Okay. 
Yes, we did. Yes. Okay. Along with the orange zest. Orange zest. Two teaspoons and the soy. We already did that. Okay, and we're going to add the sugar. And we're just going to let it cream. Oh, she's gone. She's, put, she's squeezing. Watch out. Back up, everyone. She's going to squirt us. She's going to, I'm going to squirt you. Oh, oh how nice. And this just gives it more orange. Can you turn the iron on here? You can use a, a juicer for this, but I like to just use my hand. Don't put the stones in. The stones? There's pits. Pits. There's stones in here. I picked them out, Mary. Right. Red pit. Red pit. Red pit. Oh, right there. Oh, Don't get Red pit out of there. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> so, Mary. You've made a great cake. Am I going to put this whole orange in there? The juice of it. The juice of it. Not this part. This uh, I don't think so. No. <laughs> All right. So, I'm going to do that now. No, there's no pits in there. Nope. It's going to be stiff. You got the flour and everything in there? Not yet. We haven't put the flour in yet. I'm going to whip that a little bit. So the last okay. step is to put the flour, which also slowly, has the, slowly, slowly. the baking powder. We're going to add right. it to the mixture, which has been mixing for a little bit. There you go. Let Mayor do that. Slowly. Slowly. Is that slow enough? Mary likes to sift her flour. She thinks it makes a difference. It does. It does. Is that the yeah. See? Okay. Uh -huh. Why? We don't know. Why does it make a difference, anyone? You don't have any lumps in it. It makes it lighter. He used to make these cookies at the fire station. Really? Yep. Wow. Well, the firefighters love to sell cookies. Oh, absolutely. They don't like anything you eat. Are they fattening? No, they're so thin. Oh, yeah. so you can eat lots of them. I like these cookies. Yeah, if you get one. I made the last year. I didn't get one to take home. Um, oh, see, we did a big sale. Yeah, oh, that's right. Mary made them, and I made two bags. It's all Marsha's fault. She bought six packages of them. That's what she just said. <laughs> yeah, look at that. It's looking. It's looking good. I think. I wouldn't doubt. I wouldn't know. But should we scrape it down? Should I scrape the edge? Should we scrape the edge? Oh, absolutely. Should we stop it to do that? Oh, I don't know. It's yeah, she's tough. She looks dangerously. I'm going to get in there. When she lets the kids uh, lick the beaters, she don't even shut it off. <laughs> <laughs> get your head in there. Do it quick. Well, we'll put all of it in, then I'll do the edge. Can we put everything in there now? Yes, we have just about everything in there. How's that look, Mary? It's got to be looking sticky. It looks pretty sticky. Do you want to shut it off for a minute and we can put our finger in it? Yeah. You want to pull it up? You may as well. That's very sticky. That's sticky. Too sticky? No. No, perfectly sticky. Good? Okay. You got all the sugar in there and the anise. So, that's taste good. it. You taste it. Six eggs are in there. Yep. Tastes good. All right, good. Man. That was success. All right, so just get something to scrape the. Okay. Rubber spatula. I found one. Pink too and mm -hmm. clean. Actually, it's clean. That's a surprise. Why shouldn't it? Well, well you never know. <laughs> <laughs> Now this is green. She likes it. <coughs> hey, uh, green. My kids fight over it still. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Don't use that again. Oh, we're gonna put it in the no, dishwasher. Taste the anise. You can taste the So Mary, this is a Pizzelle made automatic. Oh. What a beautiful iron! How long have you had this? My girlfriend had the exact iron, and I could not find it in Boston. And I finally got it in the north end of Boston, which is considered where all the Italians live. Oh. And it has to be heated thoroughly before you put the, the uh, pizzelli. Yeah. Pizzelli, yeah. It's not plugged in. in. You have to plug it in. <coughs> How much did this cost? $29.95. Wow. You, <laughs> you know, I've looked for these everywhere and I can't find one like this one. Try the north end. Try the north end. This is a very old one. I know, it's so am I. We like it. <laughs>
And it still works great. I was still young when we, we bought it. All right, so I plugged it in, so it's heating up. Tell me a little bit more about this. Do they, do they make bigger ones? They make one that's four. Uh-huh. Has anybody got one that's got the four? No, but this is the only one that we have in the facility. That's why we can only make it with you. <laughs> it's yours. <laughs> it's yours. It's mine. No, we have to let it get hot. So is there, there something behind the designs on these cookies? I don't think so. Because they're all different. I've never heard. No. It's not an Italian family crest design. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Like the Irish not, sweater. Not, not this week. The Irish sweater. Does it have an Italian gazelle? Well, the Irish sweater has a design. I didn't know. It does, yeah, for the family. Wait, how do you know when it's hot? It looks like there will be a light here. Does this it tell you? The light will go on. Did you break when, the, when it's ready? No, it just. Take a chance to see if it's ready. Oh, you take a chance. Do you touch it and then wait for your hand to get the same no. No. Oh my God, design on it? Funny girl. I'm just kidding. Yeah. Measure it. No, you take it out of the uh, cookie batter and then just dump it the whole blob in the center and it spreads out. And then you bring this down and it spreads out more. And you count to 15 or 16 or something. You have to figure out yourself. So, so, just so Mary, you, so you, you count and try to figure out how long it takes to cook it. So if the first one you do and it takes you 15 seconds and it's not done enough, then you do it for 17 seconds? Yeah, sure. And then if you don't have enough batter, you just add a little more? No, There's no, no specific not measurements. One. Not on that one. If it's, oh, you not, wouldn't, if you it's wouldn't. not done, it sticks to your thing and it's all hell breaks so you have to take <laughs> it all cool. off, <laughs> right? Yep. Do you spray the iron before you put the um, dough I, on I do it? wipe it with the little uh, margarine. Okay. Paper towel. So should we do that? Sure, sure. Oh. Don't hurt yourself. <coughs> Use pan. Yeah. Oh, Pam. Use this pan. Yeah, um, Pam. Yeah, I might spray. have some Pam. Pam, where are you? Cooking spray. Sorry. Pam, I want you to know it's the shoes she's wearing. Oh, don't I use these kind of shoes when you're working in the kitchen. So you also need to wear flat shoes. What did you say? You should always cook in, in your heels? No. You never cooked in your heels, Mary? Never. <laughs> so just a little cooking spray? Spray up and down. All right, I, I can feel it getting warmer. My grandmother used to make them. And did she teach you how to make them, your grandmother? Nobody teaches you anything in Italian. <laughs> you just you learn. You just it. learn by watching. Mm -hmm. Do you like cooking more than you like baking? I like both. You like I both? Think, yeah. What's your favorite thing to cook? Spaghetti and meatballs. Spaghetti and meatballs. Which they don't make here. Oh. Well, we'll have to they make them. They taste Mary. any good. <laughs> well, you'll have to make them with me. Where's our... Where's Oh, well, if you teach me. Oh, oh, wait a minute. You won't teach me. I'll just have to watch you. You'll have to watch, yeah. We're all <laughs> going to watch you. We're all going to watch you, Mary. But then we'll all They don't make the sauce like I make it. So everybody has their own idea of how the toss, sauce should taste, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, out of a jar, Frago. That's how I do. <laughs> Some people like a sweet sauce. I do. You do, Greta? Uh, hot sauce. Or a hotter sauce. I don't like hot sauce. That would be great to make it. Sunday gravy. Is that what you call it? The Sunday gravy? No. no. You gotta cook it all day long, don't you? When you make a sauce? My, my husband's aunt, who was a seamstress, she would make gravy and she would call it sauce. Good. But the people that she lived with in the old lady's place, our old man's place, too. She, they called it gravy. Mm -hmm. She said, it's not gravy, it's not gravy. She would scream at them. But every Sunday morning, they'd come down and make the sauce. Those all had their own apartments. She was all right. So one was making gravy and the other was making sauce. <laughs> it was the same thing. <laughs> and they're both the same thing. But she was a school, school teacher that cooked and sewed the schools. And then when President Roosevelt's niece was living with him and his wife, they decided they were going to get married and Aunt Rose was going to make the wedding gown. So she went ahead and she 
asked them if they could have a room in the school for herself. So they got a room in the school and she told them to paint it all white. It had to be pure clean. And she made, she cut out the material. She went out and bought the material for this girl, measured the girl. And they made her, her wedding gown. I never got a picture of that wedding gown, but she did send a chauffeur to my apartment to pick me up the day of the wedding so I can help her put the gown on. So I thought that was rude of her not to send me <laughs> a dinner. <laughs> you should have been invited to the wedding. Absolutely. All right, Mary. I think that smells nice I and think hot. It smells nice and hot. So you got a big spoon here. I got a big spoon here. Okay, be careful. It's gonna be it's hot. Gonna be oh, hot. So do you want to show me how much you put on? I just don't remember, but we'll do it. Okay. Just a nice. plain one? Yes. Um, kind of. Oh, it's clean now. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, kind of. <laughs> well, it's, it's not clean. It's got that on it. Alright, now close it. And you'll hear a doll thing in the middle. A little doll thing in the middle. Wow, you hear it sizzle. Good. Smoke one one thousand. Two one thousand. Three one thousand. You have to put a little digital clock over it. Five one thousand. What do you think? Six seconds. Right, close. Right. You're the chef today. And the reveal. And wow. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, Woo. And we already have our got a little knife. I can pick this up. Yes. I'll get you oh, a little knife. Right. Yeah, we have our, our waxed pan, right? You want a wax paper on the pan? Yeah, that's fine. All right. Yeah. Just pull it out one okay. side. Here we go. And you can. Oh. So I think that's done. You can turn it over and make sure it's got a nice little toasty look on the other side. Oh, that's wow, right. Mary. That's perfect. So how many did you count? Um, Six, well, seven, we didn't, I didn't start counting immediately. It was like seven one thousand. It's like ten. Maybe ten one thousand. Oh, that's a lot this time. Well, that'll, you'll see it pop out on the other that's side. Pop right down. One one thousand. There goes some. Three one thousand. Oh, like my waffle maker. Five one thousand. Six one thousand. I always Seven hold this tight so it comes out nice and thin. Nine one thousand. Notice how thin Nine that is. That's, thin. that's too thick. Ooh, that's a big that's one. Too thick. No, no, it's not done yet. Oh, it's not done yet. Oh boy. So you can put the iron back down on it oh, if it doesn't look <laughs> finished. <laughs> and you can scrape the excess off the outside of the iron if there's too much. You can't recook that excess. No. Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. Gotta throw it away. No, you can eat it. What do you think, Mary? Maybe excess. Is it done? Uh, uh, pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Should it be more? Mm -hmm. yeah. I would, but I all right. It's good. So this oh. one took a little longer because mm -hmm. when you put the batter on, it cools the iron down a little bit. So is it good to shut the iron in between? Oh, no, no, no. No? no? Okay. Speaking both sides. <laughs> what time is it? It is. It's not lunchtime. I always squeeze this hard because they come out thinner. You squeeze them hard. So the harder you squeeze, the more it distributes the batter onto the iron, and the thinner they are, and they're crispier when they're thin. <laughs> and that's the consistency that you want. Yep. Did you count this one? You didn't count this one. <laughs> can't count that high. Oh, that's a cute little one. A teeny tiny one in there. Small. Yeah. We didn't have enough on the screen. Okay. Oh, what happens with that? That's thin. Super thin. Oh, yeah. Little dieter. That's for the dieter. What other flavors of this cookie could you make, Mary? Oh, wow. I used to make red one. If the girl, if the bride, if this is a shower for the bride, I made all different colors. Oh, oh wow. Depends. Oh, you could put food coloring. Depends on what the girl was using for the oh, you don't bride. Do you want to put more? The bridesmaids were blue. I'd make blue. So can you make it um, vanilla flavored? Well, for the people that don't like anise, you have to use just vanilla. I've seen it chocolate in the stores. Yeah, it's it's chocolate. Chocolate. Can you garnish these with anything? Do you ever put any powdered sugar on them or anything like you that? I put powdered sugar, but I never did. We just 
chocolate. We used to put chocolate, little bits of chocolate. Ooh, that sounds good. Oh, you can sprinkle them. You can sprinkle this, but they cool them off too fast. Mm -hmm. But I enjoyed making the different colors for the bridesmaids. They're, they're fun. That's nice for, for a wedding shower. The ladies have a question over here. I'd like to know if we could eat one now. Are they allowed to eat one now, Mary? Please? One at a time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Pretty, pretty clean. Are take the big one or are you going to take? How do they taste? I do. Thank you. Sample it. Can we say how it tastes? But you. Oh my God. Oh, it's great. Yes. These are good. Mm. That's why I bought six. These are good. These are perfect. <laughs> yeah, they're fluffy. Oh, yeah, He's like ready. Our friends are here. Now like we can enjoy it, our fabulous Kazale oh, cookies that we made today. Thanks yeah. to Mary Mirabli and thank you, Mary Scarlotta Rose. Thank you, Grandma, Mary. These are delicious. Mm, they are. These are just like they're not too clean. Mm. Yes. You know, it's just like eat lots of them. Yeah. You know, like when you know your relatives pass and certain foods, and just it just kind of brings you back, right? So you know, like being in the kitchen with her doing that and the waffle iron, mm -hmm. I love it. Mm -hmm. Aren't these good? Sentimental. Very. I know. I was like, almost crying down there. I was like, I gotta go back this way. Oh. <laughs> I, I knew I missed her, and I missed doing this. All right. Thank you. Until next time on the Golden Pan. This show often talks to people who have interesting hobbies or careers or different things that they have going on that affect our community. I'm Mary Arnott, your host. There is a huge need for providing food for individuals and family. And that's the key, that's the key. is yeah. working well together. You can see more episodes online at our website, hkim.tv.